This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create text on a path. So you can see we have the skateboard accessories text, and it's kind of following the same direction as the wheels here. And we did this by placing with the pen tool path and told the text to follow that path. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First things first, I need to get rid of the text that we have right now. And I'm just going to get that text line, drag it to the trash can. So it's gone. Now I'm going to come over here and activate the pen tool. Here's the pen tool. And the pen tool can be kind of daunting to learn for newcomers. I'll try my best to share some of the tips for the pen tool. I'm going to start right in this region right here. I'm going to click and then I'm going to come up here and click and drag. And as you drag that out, you're going to create two handles. So here you can see this nice path here and these two handles and the handles help adjust the curve of the pin so again I clicked and then clicked and dragged now for the next click I want down in this region or right in here but this handle acts as a magnet and the line will actually come up and then down so what I'm gonna do is hold down my alt key and drag that handle down just a little bit and then I'll click down here and you can see it's starting to follow that better and then I can come up here and hold down that and kind of adjust that and I, I again I'm holding down my alt key and adjusting that one handle and you can see how it acts like a magnet kind of pulls the curve around so that's looking pretty good there and so uh, there's my first first click and then I think I'll drag this up just a little bit so my next line right in this area will come up and then down so I'm gonna click right here that's looking pretty good and again I can always come and get my with my alt key alt click the little handles and do some adjusting and then I think finally I want it to kinda of follow this area so I'm gonna move that with my alt key move that handle up just a little bit and then click so that looks good and if you want to move these actual points where you clicked you can hold down your control or command key to get the direct selection tool you can actually move that whole line there I'm going to bring that pretty close though. And I might get my alt key and adjust this one handle. So the alt key is only adju for adjusting the handles while the um, while the control or command key if you're on the Mac is used to adjust the actual locations of the points. So that's looking good. Now I'm going to get my text tool. And the text tool, be, pay careful attention to the way the cursor looks. Right now it looks like there's two brackets around the I-beam. And if, as I move over onto the path, it's going to change. And you can see it looks like an I-beam now. The brackets are removed, but it gets this little path going through it. It looks like a little curvy path there. So once you get that little curvy path, you can click. And you can just type. I'm going to type skateboard accessories. There we go. And what's cool is if you're not sure about your spelling, you can always get your selection tool and come up here and go to edit. And then check spelling. You know, run spell checker. In this case, I've spelled everything uh, a okay. So I'll click OK, and you can always adjust this path path after the fact as well by getting your direct selection tool. Got my direct selection tool and clicking on the path. You can move these points around. So I'm moving these points, you can always go out and get the handles as well with the direct direct selection tool. Kind of drag these around. And this handles I'm going to bring down. So there we go, that's looking pretty good. Then with your character palette, again you can go to window character. You can adjust things like the height of the text right here. So that'll make the text higher. And the width of the text, you make it much wider. So that's pretty good. And things like kerning, like how much space is between the text and various aspects of those characters. Uh, I didn't mean to make it that big, so I'm gonna back that off a little bit in that one as well. So I'm just dragging on the little icon there in order to uh, set that up. There we go. Perfect. What's kind of cool about this is with the direct selection tool, you can also, the cursor changes to this little black arrow. You can kind of see it in the S right there. When you get that, you can scoot this around and kind of shove it around on this path. So again, direct selection tool, you get up by the text and it turns into the I-beam with a little black arrow. You can kind of scoot that around the path or you scoot it backwards and you can also when that arrow pills appears actually grab it and drag it underneath and so you can see I dragged it underneath 
and now it's underneath the path to drag it back you simply get the I-beam drag it back up and there we go that that's perfect so that looks very good so that's how you create text on a path this is Scott with tutorialstop.com I'm hoping this was helpful